Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I'm making a follow-up to one of my most popular videos of all time with ranking every Tall Tale cosmetic in Sea of Thieves. Now with the addition of the Monkey Island Tall Tales, it's time once again to discuss the best and worst Tall Tale cosmetics in the game. Keep in mind, it's been a while since I made that original video, so some of my rankings have shifted since then. With that said, the addition of the Monkey Island Tall Tales brought our total amount of cosmetics to 46. Starting our list off at that 46 spot, we have the Pistol of Sunken Sorrow. This pistol is truly quite awful. Sometimes it's not enough just to look unique. It also needs to be visually pleasing, which this and others in this set do not. I also find this pistol slightly difficult to aim with compared to other skins. The cosmetics also don't really go well with the Dark Brethren Tall Tale. I would have much rather seen a cosmetic related to Davy Jones or the Flying Dutchman. Next at number 45 is the Idol of Many Hands Trinket. This one, while not ugly like the previous cosmetic, is just boring and unimpressive. It's quite a small trinket so you can't really see much detail in it, and it also was not the best thing to represent the tall tale. There was much cooler stuff that was part of this tale, like the sword used for the insult sword fighting or the shanty used to lure the bird out which would have been way better to earn. Moving on we have the Cannon of Sunken Sorrow, which like the pistol looks pretty ugly. It's not as bad as the pistol though, while it is pretty bad while aiming with it, I do like the glowing effects on the side of the cannon. Following that we have the Rum Bottle Spyglass, which just hearing the name sounds like it would be a really cool design for a spyglass, but in reality it's another ugly cosmetic. Compared to other spyglasses on this list, they could have put a lot more effort into making this one a bit more unique and visually pleasing. At number 42 we have the Pirate Lord's Jacket. This jacket looks very much like a default cosmetic you'd get from starting the game, which in fairness it kind of is with it being the first reward for the Maiden Voyage. Next is Governor Guybrush's Portrait, which while not a bad trinket, it's just a pretty boring reward for a tall tale. Speaking of boring though, next we have Briggsy's Sails. This is just not that good looking either. It's basically the Walmart version of the Reaper's Mark sales. I would be very interested though to see in the future a better version of Briggsy's sales. Now at number 39 we have the Melee by Moonlight painting which is another Monkey Island trinket. This one is definitely more visually pleasing compared to the other trinkets we've seen so far. I would say though if they were so adamant that these rewards had to be trinkets, I would have much rather gone a landscape painting of the whole Melee Island rather than just the clock tower. Next is the Morningstar flag. This flag is quite simple and goes well with the rest of the Morningstar set. I like the design on this flag, but because it's just a simple flag, I can't really put it up too much higher on this list because it can't really compete with the other cosmetics that we have here. Moving on, we have the Magpie's Wing Cannons. This cosmetic, while being pretty basic, has a bit of charm to it that I think goes well with more of a low-key classic looking pirate ship. Following this, we have Briggsy's Hat. This has grown on me over the past few years. While I never really used this cosmetic, I do think it is a better cosmetic than I originally thought. Especially now with the Skull of Sunken Sorrow, you can get other cosmetics that go well with this hat. At number 35 we have LeChuck's Portrait. This trinket feels a lot higher in quality. LeChuck looks intimidating and the addition of the little daggers hanging on it makes it a really cool picture to have on your ship's wall. Following that we have another Monkey Island cosmetic with the Legend of Monkey Island Cutlass. This reminds me a little bit of the Sea Dog Cutlass. It's a nice looking cutlass, however it's also pretty similar to our 33rd spot, which is Briggsy's Sword. I like Briggsy's Sword a lot because it's a darker gold that looks a bit better than the Legend of Monkey Island Cutlass. Briggsy's Sword has a more gritty, old timey look to it that I like. Following that we have the Gold Hoarder's Jacket which is similar to Briggsy's hat since I don't really wear it too much, but I think it's a decent jacket, and it can also go well with other Gold Hoarder cosmetics in the game. Next we have Rose's Compass. This cosmetic goes really well with the Wild Rose Tall Tail, and it feels like a nice reward for completing that tail. I like the amount of detail on this compass, like with the rose in the center. At number 30 we have the Morningstar Figurehead. This is another good cosmetic with lots of detail. I love the stars at the base of the figurehead and the red eyes of the bear. It would be cool to see another version of this figurehead in the future where the eyes were to glow. Next we have the Magpie's Fortune Sails. These sails I think get a bad reputation for being with beginner sails since it's unlocked from the Maiden Voyage. 
The look of these sails is pretty nice with a more simplistic design that fits well with a more subdued classic pirate look. Following that we have the Hole of Sunken Sorrow. This hole is not as bad as others in the set. It kind of reminds me of those paintings where they throw paint onto a canvas randomly. Honestly, this hole is fine, but I think the rest of the set brings it down a bit. Going with this though, we have the figurehead of Sunken Sorrow, which goes well with this hole. I love the glowing effect that comes off of this figurehead, and it basically looks like if you took the chest of Sunken Sorrow and then just pasted it onto the front of a ship, and that's basically what you get for this figurehead. And I think it looks pretty cool. Moving on to our 26th spot, we have the Cursed Captain's Hat. I really like this hat. It looks good with many different outfits, but I've come to enjoy our next hat a bit more, that hat being the Pirate Lord's Hat. I used to think that Cursed Captain's Hat was better, however, with some time, I've started to like the look of the Pirate Lord's Hat a lot more. The design feels a lot more bold and distinct with the trim of the hat and the big blue feather sticking out. At number 24, we have a unique cosmetic for this list with the only tattoo to be a tall tale reward. This is, of course, the Constellation Tattoo. While this isn't my favorite tattoo in the game, the design of this tattoo is great. Moving on, we have the Wild Rose Wheel. This wheel, like the compass, is very detailed and I love the mix of black, gold, and red in this set. I think the Wild Rose set is a bit underrated. While I like the reskin we got with the Thriving Wild Rose cosmetics, nothing will beat the original. Next we have at number 22, the Morningstar Hole followed by the Morningstar Sails. Both of these together make for a great looking ship set. I enjoy the simplistic but bold look of this and the color scheme for this set is great. At number 20 we have probably one of the most overused cosmetics on this list with the Ashen Dragon Sails. But it's overused for a good reason because this is a pretty cool looking sail. The awesome dragon design mixed with the glowing orange and black color palette makes this one of the best sails in the game. Moving on to our 19th spot, we have the Revenge of the Silver Blade Capstan. I love the Silver Blade set, and the Revenge of the Silver Blade set is a really cool reskin. The basic premise for this set is it's the Silver Blade after being worn down and overgrown. The only bad part of this capstan is that we never got more pieces for this set. I want to see an entire Revenge of the Silver Blade ship set to go with this capstan. Next we have the Legend of Monkey Island figurines. While I wasn't the biggest fan of the other Monkey Island trinkets, these figurines not only look great, but also fit well with the tall tail. I really like the tall tail rewards that are more significant to the tail it's from. Following that we have at number 17, the Gold Hoarder figurehead. This is a great figurehead and goes really well with the Shorts of Gold tall tail. The Gold Hoarder skull really pops, and the gold coins coming from its mouth are a great addition. Moving on we have two of the most recently added cosmetics on this list with the Tavern Chef's uniform followed by the Circus Superstar costume. These two costumes are great bonus rewards for the Monkey Island Tall Tales. These were added a while after the Tall Tales came out as an additional reward and I'm, I'm really happy about that. Both of these are great for role playing especially with the Tavern Chef's uniform. Following that we have the Cursed Captain Sails. These sails look really cool. I love the ghostly green effect on the edges of it, as well as just the cool icons that are on it with the skull and the swords and all that. And it just is a very bold and nice looking sail. This also has one of my similar complaints that I've had to some of the other cosmetics on this list, where I just would love to see a full ship set that goes along with these sails. Because it's just a, such a cool concept and there's th other cosmetics that you can put with it that look nice. But it would be nice to see a dedicated set that went with this. Next at number 13 we have the Revenge of the Silver Blade Cutlass. This cutlass is a great reskin of the Silver Blade Cutlass with the worn down look on the blade and the overgrown area near the hilt. All of this together makes for a really unique looking sword. Following that we have the Tankard of the Dam, which is a very unique tankard. Essentially it's taking the default tankard and giving it a ghostly effect. Combine this with another reward on this list as well as the Blessing of Athena's Fortune Curse, and it makes for a really great looking combo. At number 11 we have the Ashen Dragon Hole. I love the glowing orange seeping through the cracks of the hole, and this hole really goes well with a ton of different ship combos. Now we're entering our top 10 Tall Tale Cosmetics, starting with the Shores of Gold Curse. This curse is a great one, however somewhat overhyped. Because of how hard it is to unlock as well as being one of the first curses in the game, it gets the perception of being better than it really is. 
With all that said, this is a still a really great looking curse. One thing I've said before is an updated version of this curse would be really cool with a reactive effect. I would love to see a gold curse where depending on how much treasure you have on your ship, it would increase the curse effect until it completely covers your body. Just a thought, but it's not trying to take anything away from this curse because I think it's still a really great one. Moving on, at our ninth spot we have the instruments of the dam that go with the tankard we just talked about. These instruments are great and in terms of rewards, it's basically 4 for the price of 1. Like the tankard, it's the default instruments with a ghostly effect and it's just a really cool cosmetic set to have. At number 8 we have the Ashen Curse. Another very overused cosmetic, but without a doubt a great curse. This curse is really unique and makes your pirates stand out well. My favorite part of this curse is with the chest, where you can see the glow from inside and you see like the spine and ribs showing through. Next at our 7th spot we have Pendragon's Sword of Souls, basically the closest thing we'll probably ever get to a lightsaber in Sea of Thieves. I love its glowing blue effect and its skinny blade. Especially when using this in the dark, this blade really stands out as one of a kind. I also really love the lore behind the sword. It makes it a very special cosmetic to have. Following that we have the Trapmaker's Capstan. This is a really unique looking capstan and probably is one of my most used cosmetics on this list. I love the look of this with the skull on a spike which when anchored is hidden behind a barrel. This is another cosmetic that goes well with tons of other ship combos. I would be interested to see like a full ship set that goes with this track maker's capstan though. Another cosmetic that I use all the time is the ancient spyglass. I love the look of this with its boxy design making it one of the most unique spyglasses in the game. The way it resembles the look of an old temple like what is used with the ancient vaults is really cool. It also has a bit of a gameplay advantage with the scope in it being more of a square shape allowing you to see more than a typical spyglass. Now switching over to number 4, we have one of my personal favorite curses in the game with the Order of Souls Eye Curse. This curse is awesome and makes your eyes dark with black smearing down your face. At this point it's hard for me to imagine my pirate without this curse. It's basically become iconic and essential to the way I like my pirate to look in the game. Moving on to our third spot on this list, we have the Burning Blade Cutlass. This is basically a corrupted version of the Sword of Souls. I absolutely love this sword. This blade feels intimidating, especially in the dark when all you can see is the glowing orange of the blade. This has quickly become my favorite cutlass in the game. Finally, we end our list with two shanties, the Yoho Shanty followed by the Monkey Island Shanty. Both of these are awesome and sound amazing. These shanties are iconic being from the two biggest crossovers we had in Sea of Thieves. They are also some of the best sounding shanties we have in the entire game. But that covers all 46 Tall Tale Cosmetics in Sea of Thieves. Let me know your favorite cosmetics from this list in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, it would be great if you hit a like and subscribe. Check out this next one ranking every Tall Tale in the game. That's all I have for this video though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.